the whole tournament as a whole, I think, has created a really positive advert for women's football. I think um, from the start, from the first game that we saw the Lionesses at Old Trafford and, you know, set out the stadium all the way to the final. We've seen record-breaking crowds. We've seen record-breaking TV viewers um, tuning in to watch um, the Lionesses play. So we like as a whole, um, I think they've inspired the nation and not just the nation, but they've inspired the whole community of women's football. Um, I think now um, because of this, we'll see a lot loads of new girls trying to... Um, find a new team to go play football and we've seen those who already are playing football at a grassroots level or, or whatever level that they are playing at will will definitely be inspired and hope to continue and see what they can achieve in the future. We've heard football commentators say this win needs to create a change from school level. Girls need to be offered the opportunity to play from an early age. But from your own experience, how have you seen opportunities develop here? We've seen the the development of more women's teams, although it's qu it's quite difficult with the size of, of Gibraltar not to find a big pool of players because naturally as our population is small, obviously the pool for players is very, very limited, but we need um, a, a national league with, with more teams and maybe, um, obviously it's very difficult with the population and with the pool of players we have, but maybe try and implement a a structure where we can have um, more than, I think there's now three or four teams in the league. I think in order to make it more competitive and to bring like the standard up, we need to bring more, more maybe more players from abroad in or or create new teams. But um, I feel like um, that within time, we can get there. But obviously um, there's still a lot of work to do. Like from a, from a national team side, we need to get more games in. Like I know we're only, we're only just starting up. But um, from the games that we have had, I think performed exceptionally well. Um, we're, we're heading the right path. So hopefully if things um, carry and continue in the same way. I think we'll see a massive improvement as um, the development of women's football as a whole. And we can see um, loads more girls trying to get into the, into the sport. Tiffany, just tell us about your own experience. You started out as a seven year old and you were the only girl in an all boy team. So how was that for you back then? I, I started playing football at the age of seven. So, uh, you know, it, it was relatively young, but not, not as young as maybe others, others did. But um, I can see I've, I've had quite a positive experience when it comes to playing football at, with the boys. Um, like from a very young age, Richard Manning took me into his team, and honestly, I I don't have enough praise for him because he he gave me this he gave me the opportunities to start playing the sport I love, and without him, I wouldn't be able to reach the goals that I I have accomplished or or anything. So um, with him, it was it was literally um, he took me in, he took me under his wing, he he sh he showed me um, this way of playing and. It was honestly, it was honestly the best thing that you know that could have happened to me at that age. And then throughout the the ranks, you know, I played for played for Lincoln Red Dims. I played under Ernest Galliano, um, Tyrone Avellano, Jonathan Sodi. They also they honestly helped me out through for all my development as well. So um, in return, in in regards to opportunities in in Jib and when it comes to playing with the boys, I honestly don't have. A bad word to say because um, I've had a very positive experience, but I know others weren't as lucky as me and have had to go through um, a lot of a lot of stick to to get to where they wanted to be at. But hopefully now we can change this view 